Yo, what's up, ladies and pins? For you new people out here to this channel, my name is Les Levant, and I am a photographer, videographer, and today what we're actually doing is I'm actually going to be bringing you guys with me onto a shoot. Full disclaimer, the whole general idea that I had planned for this whole shoot didn't really work out the way I wanted to. Things were more uncontrolled than what I thought it would have been. I'll just give you guys a piece of that, and then we're going to wrap it up over here. Let's see how things go. So, let's get that started. Yo, what's up, ladies and pimps? This is Les Levon, the photographer guy. Uh, so today, what we're going to be doing is I'm out here in LA. This is an empty parking lot. So I have a couple locations that I have in mind, and I actually am shooting with someone today right up here. Hi, you guys. My name is Lydia Ambrose. You can see my Instagram at, at Lydia Ambrose. So I'm at Les there on social media. But luckily, he gets to take pictures of me, and I'm super excited and nervous, but it's okay. <laughs> Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make coast collide. Hold tight, hold tight. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so now we are actually back into the studio. As I told you guys in the beginning of the video that I didn't get the behind the scenes I really wanted for this video, but just for the sake of it, I actually opened up Lightroom and I'm going to show you guys a quick little helpful tips to get you guys to edit a little bit quicker in Lightroom. So uh, let's go ahead and get things started in here. So right here, this is our first location at Jesus Saves. This is a popular location out in LA. Just a quick little story on how we actually got this shot. We were actually supposed to be up here at the top of the structure, but security actually kicked us out. So we ended up coming down here. I really did enjoy this location just because, you know, we still got that full sign. It's still cool. So I really do enjoy the way that the shot came out. So what I do when I first start my photos is I like to open up my preset. So as you guys can see in this preset, it's called blues and reds. So typically what it runs on, it actually targets on the colors, on the skin tones, and also the blues. So typically mainly the shadows. For this here, what I'm actually gonna start off doing here is I'm gonna go ahead and work with the contrast. As you guys can see, it's a little bit punchy, a little bit dark and deep. So I typically run around and mess with my contrast just so I can actually bring a little bit more exposure and it's less sharp when it comes down to this. So I always tweak the contrast. I'm gonna go Go ahead and pick this up a little bit just because my shadows are already up here right here i dial down the shadows let me go ahead and get a closer just to look here so i dial down the shadow or pick up the shadows i'm tripping i pick up the shadows just so i can see more of her face everything's more revealing as you guys can see here as i pick up the shadows here i tweak the blacks i just run it away until the until i actually get it the way i like it i'm gonna click the bracket bar here as in this photo i actually shot this photo a little bit overexposed so if you look really close here there's not much detail with her pants here but it's it's all right it's cool enough uh, it's nothing too bad i still got her face revealing so i'm not really tripping on that but another thing i want to go ahead and talk about is as you guys can see here she's a little bit too orange so what i'm going to actually do is go to my h s l actually stands for hue saturation and luminance so you got all of that on all these dials here just to help you guys out say you guys do not know how to tweak the colors of her skin you don't know what colors actually follow through when it comes down to this dial here what you can do is click this little thing here this little tab and what it actually does is it identifies the colors of what actually runs with whatever you're working with so right now i actually clicked it on the hue so as i am pointing on here it's typically focusing on the oranges so if you click and hold the place that you actually want it to actually tweak around and move your mouse up or down so i'm gonna move it up as you can see she's going a little bit green and if i dial it down she's going more orange to the red color so i'm going to move this around until i get it to the way i like it i'm going to just do a little slight edit she's a little bit on the yellow side so from there i'm actually going to go ahead and unclick that you can see that it kind of tweaked it i'm gonna click command z it's just a little bit it's just a little slight edit whenever i do my edits i try to keep things a little bit slight and boom this is the image that i actually got so if i click this bracket here this is the after this is the before so before and after and this is what i actually 
you got. Another thing to actually help you guys out, as you can see this background here to help you guys get it white, what you can do is click W and what W does, it actually opens this little dollar here. So you can click W, click that, boom. It's much white than where it was before. If I click Command Z or Control Z, you can see that it's a little bit blue, nothing too much that really scales with your eyes, but I got everything down to white. So things are actually looking pretty cool. As you guys can see in the top of this little photo here, there's this little cloud. It's not really bugging me, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to actually remove this cloud. So you can actually click this dial here. This is gonna be your brush tool. So it, it, either it's gonna heal or it's either going to clone the object so what you want to do instead of actually clicking that button and taking your time to move your mouse over there you can just click q and q is actually going to open that up for you and you just go right here scale around the cloud and boom i didn't get all of it but so yeah this is the uh full completed picture that i actually got from jesus saves i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the other photos that we actually got here so we found this little spot down here in fairfax it's right next to the supreme store i really enjoyed this photo just because we have the red car in the background with the white supreme logo with the white rims and she has her white air force ones and then the white t-shirt i felt like this was really gonna pop out and then we got some more shots right next to the golf store so tyler creator has his background for igor for his uh release of his album on the wall so people were taking pictures and i was like yo this is a really cool spot to take some flips so we got some of these young photos just messing around having some fun i try experiment too as you guys can see in this photo i seen this off of pinterest where the shoe was popping up it didn't come out the way i wanted to but you know give or take you know it's just about having fun and then we got some shots here at the griffin observatory one of my favorite spots was actually shooting right in the griffin observatory i like the way that those these shadows here and then how the sunlight was beaming out right through here so i really Really did enjoy these pictures especially brings out a lot of the texture i was super hyped about those and then we got some shots again out in front of it so she was just chilling out here in the streets and i got some of her right in front of this beam structure here so i was really excited how this little photo shoot actually came out yeah you guys so that was just some quick little helpful tips to getting your pictures done a little bit quicker in lightroom if you guys want to see how i actually made that preset go ahead and drop a comment in the description below and also i just want to Give a big thank you to Lydia for actually coming out with me and helping me get this video out. So if you guys want to actually check out her Instagram, you can check in the description and actually give her a follow and check out what she got on her page. Don't forget to like this video. Also subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. I got another video coming out for you guys next week. I'm super excited about that. I really hope you guys enjoy yourselves and have a great day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Oh crap, I didn't even do that right. <laughs>